Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Brazen Braden, Safe Cracker Extraordinaire, here to crack the safes of uh, uh, Mr. Sir Duncan the Second Bobby Fanny Winkle, I don't know. Um, we are almost done folks, this may be the last episode, let's see how we get on with the final two safes. We've got the one over here, um, which is the violet bedroom, which is the one that needs the extra uh, triple key. And then, in a base, uh, basement and the loft is done, downstairs, ground floor, there's the one in the workshop, which requires, I believe, a card, which is what we picked up last episode, which is this one, the chip card. And we've got this letter for Margaret, and we've got one triple key. So, with that, we need to head on downstairs and uh, see if this is the card required for the workshop. I believe we can get down, yes we can, get down here to the ground floor. Uh, we don't want to go to the basement. We want to find our way to the workshop. Uh, where do I go? <laughs> it's been a while since I've been downstairs actually. Uh, this is the, this is what, what's it, smoking room I guess you call it? Um, the sort of study area. This is just a uh, who has one of these things in their house? You know, I can understand some of the safes and whatnot. Um, display cases, mm, all right, but uh, it's, this looks very much museum-y, doesn't it? To have a display case like this, um, it's not really something you'd find in a house. But uh, this thing, what the hell? No, I don't know. I just don't know. So whatever. It's that's this Sir Duncan William whatever his name's prerogative. Here's the workshop and here is the case which we have not been able to uh, crack because of this. So, chip card. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, <clears throat> so we've got some letters. G, D, L, F, O, T, I, N, K, C, M, R, U, A, P, C, Z, W, T, N, S, A, B E. So, what's this? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 letters of the alphabet. They all seem to be, for the most part, oh, they're not all unique. Okay, we've got an A and an A here. So, we obviously have to make up some sort of word. Um, yeah, these dials just turn and point to the certain letters. So, we most likely have to read uh, there's probably a word somewhere let's look for words that start with G F D or L which are approximately six characters long uh, from Margaret my dear brother Walter I'm right to let us know that I'm glad so you're leaving the hustle and bustle of business world and devoting yourself to a more peaceful life uh, we would like to point out to you that we did not like at all the image you were portraying of our fine Scottish family I know you do not like me calling you Walter and that you prefer you to keep your middle name secret, but I think it is a shame to reject one's name. Your sister, Margaret. Now, I can't really pick up any clues from this letter. Um, one always has to check for clues. I mean, like Margaret, the name could be a clue. Uh, who knows? Um, see, we got a P. We've got no H, T, E. Hmm. Goal. Go, uh, I would assume it must be one of these consonants. If we are actually, if we are, are actually making up a an English word, obviously consonants uh, need to be sort of separated by vowels. Uh, unless it's like a, a, t a th or a ch or or that sort of thing, but like a d, there's no dn's or dt's in the English language. So, but now I may be on the on the wrong track completely. What else do we have here? Um, huh. Um. Why? Where could there have been another clue? I mean, it's it's really. This letter is just is bugging me, because it was in that safe. And even though it doesn't, I mean, there's all this talk about secrets. You know, if you prefer to keep your middle name secret. 
It's a shame to reject one's name. Walter. Walter. W A L. That's six letters. Walter. Uh, we've got no dub W's. No W there. We got an A. Well. Uh, we got an L. A T. Uh, we need an E and an R. Okay, so we need to swap. Now, nah, really, is it an E? <laughs> so it is. <laughs> Good gracious. Now, nah. whoa. What is this? <laughs> it's stuffy in here. I think I must be the first person to have come in here for a long time. Oh, wow. We've opened up a whole new room. It's an entire room hidden away behind this workshop safe. Good gracious. Who would have thought? All right, what do we got here? Let's have a look at this letter. Let's. Dear sir, our foundation profoundly thanks you for your generous donation. This amount will increase our potential for action considerably. Your contribution will, as you request, remain confidential. Thank you again. The, con the contribution will be confidential. I wonder if that's another clue. What is this we have in the corner here? Look at this strange contraption. Confounded glass. It's impossible to get right through to the key. There's the other triple key, the key that we need. We've got... What the hell is this? It's a magnet, I think. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no, it's one of these things. Oh, damn it, we have to get the key into this space over here. It's one of these stupid games. Ah, and you can't move this sideways. You can only move like this down. Ah, oh, this is a pain, so we can do this. Uh, move that across. Move that up. Uh, <laughs> and now I am stuck. We'll put... Hmm... Hmm... Okay, let's see. If we... Whew. Um... Can we move this one up? I need to... Oh, I hate these puzzles. I remember there was these ones you, I used to have um, on the computer when I was when I was when I was tiny. Uh, it was these games, uh, the whole series of them, these challenges with these blocks in different shapes, and then you had different shapes, a big square, and L shapes, and and whatnot, and uh, to somehow uh, m move the pieces around so that uh, you could get the thing out now. I need to get this block down, which means I need to get this big one moved out of the way. What I can do is something like this, which currently doesn't really help me. See, I can lift this up and move it one. It doesn't help. This is That is open there. This Hmm. Hmm, it's difficult. How am I going to get this through this gap? Blasted. Uh let's see. Oh, it's not it's not it's not thingy enough. Um Hmm. If I push this all the way up, bring this all the way down. Okay. Now what? Now. Um what if we do this? Okay, we push this all the way to that end. We can get rid of this one up here, push this one down, all the way down. <laughs> Hello. Can you go back? Can I throw this magnet away please? 
I want to there. Oh. Voila! Triple key obtained. All right, folks. We've got the two triple keys. Oh, this is so exciting. This could be. This could be the will and testament of Sir Don uh, Duncan William Shatner, whatever his name is. Um, we need to find our way upstairs to that violet room. And uh, let's see if we can get the will. We, wow, uh, we've done it. We're doing it, at least, I think. We, wait, violet room is that way. This may be it. Fingers crossed. The music has disappeared from this game. This this game is so buggy. <laughs> it's quite it's quite shocking. All right, triple key, thank you, and triple key, thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, hello. I did it. Hey, I did it. Look at this. I've done it. What is this? There it is. I can finally see my prize. Just one last effort. <laughs> you can finally see the prize. Why is he whispering? Why are you whispering? Uh, okay, so we've got a safe. Oh, it's just a four-digit combination. What else we got? What's this? Um. All right. Where we where would we have gotten the number for the safe? We have used up all the clues here, apparently. I mean, like this one. Let's see. This one says four two nine eight. So four two nine eight. Was it? Was it four two? Yeah, it was. F yeah, four two nine eight. So not that. Um. Hmm. None of these bathrooms were ever any help to us, were they? Oh wait, I remember these things. Did we ever use this code? Uh, uh wait, this shape. This shape, this shape. Look, that's the same thing, I think. I think that's the same thing, so this is... It was this code. Uh, uh I've lost that bit of paper. But I'm going to... Uh, let me scroll these down again. Uh, just as they are. Let me grab a pen, bit of paper. Okay. So basically, we got sort of eight shapes. Shapes of eight. Ching, ching, ching. That's one, two, three, and four. And this one has on the first one solid bottom of the second one. The top and the middle, and then the right side and the bottom. Okay, so that's the one door. Let's now find the next door. There, nothing on that door. Wasn't there one down here? Somewhere? Not on this door? No, not in here. Uh, what about? This one? Nope, that was a safe. I remember that. What? I'm sure one of these doors had one. Ah, here we are. Okay. So this side, up there, the middle in the second one. We've got the l top right and then the bottom horror vertical ones. All right. Okay. Next room. There was, I'm, there may have been two actually down this way. Not this door, was there? No, not this one. Uh, this one had one, I think. Yes. Okay, so the bottom. Uh, that side. Up there, and then that side. Okay, I think we're getting a five for that first, for the second digit. And we're getting what looks like either a two or a three. And this last one, it's turning itself into an 8. Uh, the first one could be... Oh, 
it could be a f uh, I don't know. Let's see. I think that we need one more. Not on that door. The bathroom here. No. We're missing one. Ah, oh, I remember it being somewhere. Where was it? I remember seeing. Ah, here it is. Found it in the bathroom. Okay. So, this has turned itself into a three. Number one is three. Number two is five. This one is, number three is a two. And yes, indeed, we have an eight. Okay, so that's my numbers I've got. Three, five, two, eight. Let's see if that is the lucky combination for this purple, scarlet, violet room, whatever. Ah, so this is where the secret room is. That makes sense now. All right. I thought it was just like a magical room that, you know, like Narnia, just magically appeared. Okay, let's see. Let's see. We've got three, five, two, eight. <laughs> oh. Let's have a look at this letter. If yes. you are reading this, it means my will is still without a beneficiary. Your presence here indicates to me that you share my passion and therefore have my full trust in designating my heir. Hmm. Signed, Duncan W. Adams. Oh, my word. Oh, I did not expect this at all. Oh, wow. Um, I need to choose who gets the will. I should get it. Shit, I did all this work. Sarah... Elizabeth at the um, oh there were stories here Margaret. Someone was you know like like Edward was begging for money Elizabeth was oh no Edward was calling Elizabeth out. No, you know these people have such issues. It's all about money. There's always stories. I think I should get it. I mean come on, don't you think I deserve it? I mean do you know how hard I've worked to to find this will for this entire family and you know you think I get paid well? You think this is a well paid job? No, not really, you know, most of my money comes from cutting keys, sitting behind a grindstone and, you know, shaping a key because you lost your front door key or, or, or your boyfriend has just moved in and uh, he needs a spare key to your apartment and so that's where most of my money comes from. You know, cracking the safes is more of a hobby of mine and it doesn't really pay all that well. Yes, I mean, this family did uh, sort of, they, 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 they paid me quite generously to find the will for them because they believe they'll be getting a lot more money out of it. Um, but that is not the case. Uh, Duncan is entrusting me to make the right choice here. And he has a passion for saves. I have a passion for saves. Um, I think us kindred, kindled spirits, us, um, you know, we share this flame of saves. And I think it's only fair that I get the money. I can't save the game either. So, here we go. Do you want to print the wool? Yes. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it's just opened up. I'm just going to save it. Will. have been entrusted with a colossal fortune. Use it well. Right, it's taken me three hours, apparently, but I've done it. I have been entrusted with a colossal fortune. Um, I'm not sure what happened just now with the recordings because I actually had to save a file to my hard drive, an XPS document, which I assume is the will. So uh, I'm going to let the screen go black now, and uh, I'm just going to uh, record. Um, I'll read it out to you. Uh, and I'll I'll put that in. So let me just stop this uh, video and uh, get the other audio recorder up and running. One second. All right. So I've opened up this will on my computer, which I've just saved, and uh, <laughs> this XPS document is upside down. So please do excuse me while I stand on my head and attempt to read this. Oh my word! This is all good. Okay. Will and testament of Duncan Walter Adams. I, Duncan Walter Adams, being of sound and disposing mind, memory and understanding, and after consideration for all persons, the objects of my bounty, and with full knowledge of the nature and extent of my assets, do hereby make publish, uh, do hereby make 
publish and declare this my last will and testament as follows. First, I declare that I am a resident of Miami, Florida, that I am unmarried and have no children. Wow. Second, I direct the payment of all debts and expenses of last illness. Third, I hereby... Sorry, I do hereby devise and bequeath each and every thing of value of which I may, uh, of which I may die, possess. Uh, that doesn't look right. P uh, p possessed, what? Including real property, personal property, and mixed properties too dashed lines of dashed lines. So I would put my name there if I wanted to print this. I guess you could get this uh, if you really wanted. You could have it um, uh, framed and up on your wall as a proud achievement uh, in finishing safe cracker. Um, that's your prerogative, however. Okay, so let's see. The rest of the will states: <clears throat> In the event the said above mentioned should precede pre precedence, pre pre predeceases, predeceases me, something like that or fail to survive for a period of three months following the date of my death, then, and in such event, the device and bequest to them shall fail, and the same is devised and bequest instead to the Key Ops Foundation of Paris, France. Okay, so if the next person who takes these stuff dies, everything goes to these key, this Key Ops Foundation. Fourth. I do hereby appoint the mayor of Miami, Florida as executor, as in the case may be of my state, giving to said person full power of appointment of substitution in his place and stead by his last will and testament or otherwise. I subscribe my name to this will this four, fourth day of February 2005 at Miami, Florida. Signed. Duncan Walter Adams. Well, there we have it. That was the well. Very awkward to read. My neck. Oh, can you hear that? Oh, that was... Oh, neck's totally cramped up after twisting it like that to try to read this thing. But hey, we've done it. We've done it, folks. It's been fun. It's been a good ride. Uh, thank you so much for joining me along in this series of Safe Cracker, where we've solved some puzzles, uh, dealt with some conundrums, and, uh, well, come out... Uh, victorious in the end so great uh, hit a like if you've enjoyed the series uh, and if you'd like to see more of this sort of game um, in the future the likes are what tells me you know you, you enjoy it uh, do subscribe if you haven't already check out some other stuff and uh, I will catch you all in something new some new exciting series um, very shortly. So until next time, I hope you have a fantastic day, lots of love, and bye!